I'm Crystal Escobar. I have a blog called wannabebalance.com and I just love sharing tips on my journey through the never-ending process of trying to balance life as a mom. And so I today wanted to share this great story, this book that I'm reading and it's so great. I just got it and it's now available on Amazon. It's just like a brand new book. I don't know, it's just a great reminder of how to find lessons in your everyday life, like just by being a mom. But um, like, for example, I am still learning how to not have that mommy guilt. And I know I've talked about this before on Periscope, and it's just one of those things I think moms constantly feel like no matter what we're doing we feel guilty for it and it's because um we just we want to do the right thing we feel like we are we have so many things that we are so many responsibilities and trying to do it all at the same time is not possible and a lot of times we end up multitasking or um we just end up getting off balance in a way because we're focused on one thing <laughs> and then we're not able to fulfill all of the roles all at one time. So it's like one of those things that we just need to be okay with the fact that yes, we have a lot of responsibilities, but that doesn't mean that we're supposed to fulfill all those responsibilities at the same time, all in one day or even all in one month. So that's one of the things that I think mothers are, it's like one of those big lessons that mothers, women need to learn. So, and it's not something that you learn overnight. I think it's the process of like 10, 15 years of motherhood. And then you're going to get it one day. You're gonna be like, oh, I don't need to feel guilty. Like, I am amazing. I do so much. So that's what we need to be focusing on. But, um, like, I am always feeling guilty because I, I think most women, we crave productivity. And it's hard because our, our kid, we know that as a mother, we should be spending all this quality time with our children and be teaching them and being there for them all day. And so it's hard because we 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 want to get things done around the house and but we also feel this pull to our children like oh but I should be sitting I should be spending time with them. But um what I'm learning and trying to incorporate more even though I I've already kn always known that you know the best way to over soothe that mommy guilt is to include your children in your projects. And I know that this is something that <laughs> is easy to, it's easier said than done because of course, yeah, like, yeah, just include them, have them help do the laundry, have them help make dinner. But yeah, we all know <laughs> what happens when you have your kids help. Number one, it takes a lot longer. Number two, it ends up being um, really messy, you know, like with making meals, it turns out being really messy. But I am trying to let all of that go and just be like okay well the only way I'm going to feel better as a mom is if I can focus on that more by doing those things that I need to do but including my children and teaching them at the same time because we know that that is a huge responsibility for mothers and I think for me my especially I know that I um, started out in motherhood thinking okay I just got to get through the first three years and then from then on, it's the teacher's responsibility to teach my kids. I kind of like went in with that mentality, not really knowing that I had that mentality, but um, it's like once they hit preschool age, it's like, okay, now the teachers are gonna teach them how, you know, their letters and their colors and and all that. So I, um, something shift over the course of a few years of being a first time mother and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I can teach my children those things too. It's not, I don't need to hand over that responsibility. And that's when I got all excited about homeschooling. And so I just became more of a proactive mother. And with the whole homeschooling experience, I learned to really incorporate a lot more teaching into my role as a mother. Even though I knew that, yes, that's, that's what we're supposed to be doing as mothers. But I don't know, something about, something I just was, was not clicking, you know, these things that we need to learn throughout motherhood. But anyway, this book is awesome. You will love it. So you guys should definitely check this out on Amazon. 
It's called Discovering Christ in the Details of Motherhood, Everyday Moments or Moments by Jessica Poe. I'm, I'm always looking for good mom books. I just need good reminders of how to an, in, be a better mom, how to enjoy being a mom more, how to appreciate all these um, things that are kind of mundane. You know, like everyday life, there's a lot of things that we do as mothers that are so repetitive and it's hard to see the joy in that, but that's what I love about this book because she really talks about that, how motherhood is like a lot of repetition and sometimes we just start feeling like blah as a mom. And so she kind of helps you open up your eyes to um, appreciating all those repetitive things and seeing the everyday lessons in life. So I... Um, also, I was listening to a podcast earlier. Another one of my favorite podcasts is um, Joel, Joel Osteen. I'm sure all of you know who he is. He's awesome, very inspirational. And he was talking about um, don't waste your pain. And it was like the perfect uh, podcast for me today because um, he talks about, you know, like the things that we go through in life and how, of course, it's like... Um, all the little pieces to a puzzle that will end up being something a beautiful picture and how each puzzle piece by itself is like that looks weird that that's not pretty but then when you put the whole puzzle together it ends up being this beautiful picture and um and then like how with you know god wants us to share the lessons learned and with others and to help lift others going through similar situations and um like right now I'm actually going through something really like frustrating and I will tell you guys about it um, but I don't think I'm in the right um, stage to share the lessons learned um, because it, it would be a little premature sh sharing what I'm going through because I'm still trying to figure out the lesson in this trying to um, learn the lesson and once I learn this lesson I am going to share this ex what I'm going through right now but it just has to do with some friends and some frustrating feelings and situation that I'm in right now and I'm working through it and it's not fun but I know that there is a lesson to be learned I'm gonna learn it and eventually I'll share it <laughs> with you guys as soon as I figure out what the lesson well, as soon as I learn this lesson and figure out how I can um, turn it into a positive message then I will definitely share it with you guys but right now I am just not <laughs> in the right frame of mind to be doing that. I just um, still feeling a lot of um, anger and frustration. And that's not the right place to be in to share a positive message. So I will share it with you one day soon, hopefully. I can. <laughs>